Good morning from Punta Mita in Mexico. I'm sorry I haven't vlogged up until this point, but honestly, the jet lag that you get on the way over here is full on. <laughs> like even all of us were awake at 4 a.m. this morning. I literally got up, went outside and did two workouts like back to back just to kill some time. Then I was like updating my website and then I finally went back to bed. But we've just been out for a really nice breakfast in town. It's actually very expensive here. Punta Mita is probably like quite an American sort of tourist destination. So we're staying in this beautiful golf kind of resort that's like all gated with little golf carts that we're driving around. And yeah, we just went out. I got a nice smoothie like banana and matcha smoothie and I've just come home to make a coffee but American drip coffee so I'm really not used to that I do love a cappuccino but it is what it is so just sitting outside at the moment it's about 28 degrees and I think we're gonna head out and do some exploring today go off to a local beach club and that kind of thing but LA was amazing even though we were just there for one night we went to this bar called Delilah that I'd booked months and months ago and I'll just pop some pictures here because you're actually not allowed to take any photos or videos inside because it's a real celebrity kind of hangout I think like Drake and Justin Bieber and all of those kind of people frequent there so it was absolutely phenomenal I highly recommend it if you're going to LA the food the vibe everything it was just absolutely perfect it's kind of like a parlor like they had a burlesque dancer and this beautiful jazz singer and yeah, so we just stayed at the Hilton Airport Hotel, so we were super close to get up for our flight to Mexico, and we got in reasonably late last night, so all we did was just head down to the main street, went for a really easy local dinner, and that's been it so far. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for the rest of this trip, and I'll probably kind of split it up, I think, into like Mexico and America. So really looking forward to the rest of it, but for now I need to go and get changed after I finish this coffee, because I am only in a linen set, but I am absolutely boiling hot. That was this morning's workout setup. They actually had a couple of little dumbbells here and a mat so that was perfect for me to be honest and I also realized I haven't given you a tour so this is the Airbnb that we booked and this is kind of like the back porch outdoor area so it's all just kind of surrounded by jungle and it's very kind of private and safe and secure if that's kind of you know a concern for some people coming to Mexico but honestly everyone here is so lovely and this is our little barbecue area and then I'll take you inside and show you the rest of the place. This is the main dining and kitchen area which is pretty massive and they also do have a cleaner and a chef if you really want to and this side is the lounge room which is absolutely enormous as well. I'm in love with that pot, I think it's so pretty. And then that's what kind of leads to the outdoor terrace where I was before. And then all of the bedrooms are off the main hall. So that's our entry and then you head through that way. We're heading off now to the first beach club to try and I've just got my cute little bag from Petal and Puff and then this top and skirt are old ones from Glassons. I just thought the little crochet was a super cute cover up for my bikini because it's pretty much just a poolside beach club kind of thing. It'll just be really casual vibes. So just got some flat shoes on, some sunnies and we're ready to go. finished getting ready and we're now going to head on down into the local town so you just kind of use golf carts to get around here which is really cute so that's what we're going to do and I think it's not kind of Mexican cuisine tonight which will be nice for a little bit of a break and then we're off to a couple more beach clubs tomorrow but even though it was a little bit overcast I did get a bit too much color so I'm gonna have to be a bit careful and put on some more sunscreen tomorrow <laughs> I can make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you tryna break us up When I'm tryna build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I can never get it right Without you, no I don't wanna step into the light If I don't get you shoddy I've just 
just finished getting ready for dinner and tonight we're heading off to the W Hotel. Good morning. We are about to head off again to another beach club. This time it is called Pacifico, which is part of the Four Seasons Resort. And we haven't kind of been to that side of the island yet. So that's what I'm going to be exploring. And I've actually ended up packing some lunch. First of all, because it's healthier, but also the prices here are absolutely insane. I got an almond cappuccino this morning and I'm not even joking when I say it was 15 Australian dollars and it wasn't even good so I've gone ahead and packed a whole bunch of veggies and kind of chopped up things some hard boiled eggs that kind of stuff that I got from the shops this morning and that's going to be about it so I think we're going to go there maybe in about 10 minutes or something and then we will go to the W tonight to have a look at that and have some dinner so that's the plan and I'll bring you guys along this is what I've put together for today just some hard boiled eggs that I've just had cooling down in the water I've got a sparkling water some chopped up apple carrot cucumber and some red capsicum a little bit of ham avocado and some nuts and seeds so plenty of stuff there kind of like a little platter because I only had cereal for breakfast with some fruit so I'm sort of craving a little bit of savory stuff and now we're about to head off good morning from Punta Mita it's actually our last morning here so we're about to check out the cleaner has just arrived and we did make friends with the uber driver from the W last night that took us here to there which was such a beautiful hotel we probably could have stayed there but I think it was even more expensive than this Airbnb and I don't know we just ended up staying here but if you're in the area and you ever do come over here I would highly recommend the W it was so beautiful there they had two different restaurants that whole gorgeous mosaic walkway all the way out to the beach and just some really really nice views from the end there as well it was very like idyllic palm tree kind of everything you'd expect a Mexican beach to kind of look like but anyway we are actually checking out and off to Sayulita today which is from what I've seen kind of like a surfy beach town maybe like Byron Bay sort of vibes and highly highly looking forward to it being cheaper than here because although it's really beautiful in Punta Mita it is absolutely insane the prices for everything like every single dinner you go out for is like $300 coffee is like $15 like I'm not even joking I just actually have got like blinkers on to the prices now because you just sort of have to deal with it but we did go to the supermarket and buy some groceries and make breakfast for ourselves the last two days which has been really good but looking forward to some like yummy healthy food there I've actually been getting up every morning for today I finally slept I actually slept straight through because I've got heaps of bad bug bites on me so I ended up going to the pharmacy and getting some Zyrtec last night because I am the kind of person that they will eat like I've got them all on my arm all down the back of both of my legs and I'm just getting eaten alive out here even though I've been like dousing myself in bug spray it feels like the bug spray must be like sugar or something because they just like biting me even more so I give up. I'm just taking the antihistamines and hoping for the best. So I'm feeling a lot less itchy and I did actually manage to finally beat the jet lag and sleep all the way through the night, which was really nice. But yeah, I've actually just been getting up and doing the form workouts from that app with um, Sammy Clark because that's kind of been what's keeping me sane at the moment and it's a 14 day Pilates challenge but I've just been doing two every day so it kind of adds up to being an hour and they did have a couple of light um, dumbbells and things here that I was able to use to do it but honestly it is working on me so well like I feel like I've got really good definition here and I actually woke up this morning and was looking so fit so I'm pretty impressed with that considering we've been like having a couple of drinks and doing holiday eating and things so I'm actually kind of tempted to quit body fit when I get back and just do the sort of Pilates hit and strength from Sammy's program because that's actually the sort of training I've always been looking for and now having a break and actually doing it and seeing like it sort of impact on my body is actually really nice so think I might end up sticking with that but I actually just made a really cute top today out of my scarf and I've just got my swimmers on underneath otherwise it would have been a little bit out there and then these are the black Zara shorts and these ones I think they might still have in stock they're really cute they're like 
kind of just like a little tailored short but they were only $70 and I also got them in white so I haven't actually worn them yet but I thought it might be the perfect time since we're doing a little bit of a transit day and probably some walking and things like that and my shoes are just old ones from De Cuba, cute little sandals so let's get going and I might close this vlog out here and just catch you guys in Sayulita because otherwise I think this might be a little bit long so I will see you guys then and I hope you've been enjoying the Mexico vlog so far. Bye! Bye.